Welcome to UCU Focus English News Bulletin. I'm Rachel Kadondi. First, the headlines. The Vice Chancellor approves the Joint Senior Scholarly Challenge. The heavy rains in Mokono affect rates. A driver involved in an accident within the UCU premises. And in sports, the UCU Interfaculty Tournament resumes. The Vice Chancellor of Uganda Christian University has approved the Joint Senior New Scholarly Challenge that has been proposed by the Guild Parliament. Our reporter Lucky has more on that story. In memory of the Vice Chancellor, the Joint Senior New Scholarly Challenge has been approved as an idea suggested by the Guild Parliament. I get the, the, the VC, the Vice Chancellor, who actually also welcomed it. So we, we are going to launch it on the 21st. Of, uh, of June on the open day and it's going to be launched by the Katikir of Buganda Kingdom, uh, Charles Peter Maiga. This time round, participants will be expected to write an essay. The best article is to be published in the standard. Uh, people are proposing 500,000 for the winner. That is still up for, you know, for it's still a subject of discussion. It exposes writers, especially students who want to be journalists, students who want to be writers in the future. And again, it, it makes them known. For instance, I've heard that for us who participated, whoever is going to be the winner in this challenge this semester is going to be handed an award by uh, the Katichiro of Uganda, uh, Charles Peter Maiga. The first ever John Senior New Scholarly Challenge started on Monday, 10th June, and will be ending on Sunday, 16th June, 2019. Therefore, we expect to see the yields of the John Senyonyi Scholarly Challenge. For you see you focus, like in Navi. The heavy rains in Mukono have created a standstill in transport. Our reporter, Tony, has a coverage on that. The heavy rains in the month of June has transformed a number of roads in Mukono to messy, slippery and impassable routes. The rain starts like this. You can't pass a well, it's slip, slippery, madness, and whatever water it logged. So uh, you can't pass well. And you see, it has many cars. Many cars are, are coming from the main. Uh, so when you reach here with a border border, you will stop and uh, wait for some, uh, some minutes. Several motorists and cyclists find navigation difficult on this road. For sure it's impossible, especially when it, it has just rained because uh, there, there is a tributary that passes around this place which was blocked that is causing the, the whole issue of over flooding and surely you can't pass when it has just rained. Right behind me is the road leading to the UCU main gate that has been rendered impossible as a result of the heavy downpour over the last few weeks. Tony Rangan, UCU, Mukono. A driver has survived an accident within the UCU premises along the Library Rise Road. The Uganda Christian University community is in shock of an accident that has occurred along the Library Rise Road. It was over speeding of the driver who was driving the vehicle. Two, we established that the person who was driving the vehicle had no driving license. That is that probably he, he didn't know how to drive. According to close sources from the Uganda Christian University Police, the person who was driving the car by the time of the accident was requested to wash it by one of the staff members before that tragic incident happened. Students to be very conscious of if they see any vehicle coming in front of them or behind them, they should always give it away because you don't know who is behind the wheel. Might be like the other person. Mm. Then secondly, also to the drivers, in, when you are entering the university, there is a sign post which is telling the speed you are supposed to drive when you are in the university. That's 20 km per hour. As a consequence for reckless driving around campus premises, you can see this has led to a dangerous accident in our campus right now. As a device to the people use the loads that are around the campus, please maintain the minimum speed and safe drive. Masco Derek reporting for UCU Focus. After its postponement, 
the UCU Interfaculty Tournament has finally kicked off. Ivo Semper reports. While on game day three, the Divinity School hosts former champions the business school in the Intercourses Tournament at Uganda Christian University Mukono to find who is better than who in the clash of the Inter-University Tournament. I'm very impressed with the results displayed by the boys. It was a good fight. We worked hard. So it was a well-deserved win despite the fact that we had some problems with the manager where he was dictating some substitute and uh, yeah, I think the theologians also put up a strong fight and all I would say the best team actually lost. In order to acquire victory from the Divinity School, the business team acquired an illegal player from the BBA team. In This finally led to a heavy fight between coach, player and the technical team. We used the 4 4 information to play against Divinity. Uh, we managed to win a uh, 1 0 draw, although some of the players were not in their positions and the mood. Uh, but we're looking forward to being better in the coming games in the tournament. Match day 3 happens with Bep featuring the mighty divinity. A win that comes from the Bep class. 1 0 at the Peginoil Stadium. Reporting for UCU Focus. I am Chimbugwe Ivo Sempa. That is all we had for you in today's news broadcast. You can still follow us on our online platform at UCU Focus for this and more. Up next is our current affairs segment. Stay tuned. to this current affairs segment and with me in studio I have the guild, the speaker of the guild parliament 2018-2019. He will be helping us discuss the joint mini scholarship challenge. I'm so glad to have you here. Do you know I am? I'm thankful for having you. What is the joint mini scholarship scholarship challenge about? The scholarship challenge is about an idea of intellectualism. People have the poor reading culture and we're inspiring them to read because you cannot write what you can create. In that process, we think that people will have what to remember that the guild did for them, developing intellectualism. Okay, then who are the finance people behind financing this project? Yeah, the competition is going to be fully funded by the guild. We do not have any people who are helping us in this. We are going to fully fund it because we think we still have enough resources to finance it. Should we look at this project as a save by the youth program or is something else? You would maybe look at it like that because it's a program by the guild. However, this is not to help the needy. It is to help people who think need a culture to write. And we have people who are doing literature. And you see, guilds have not been paying attention to academics more. They have been paying attention to welfare. But if we bring about an academic discussion on the essay writing competition, I think we can expound something great out of it. Okay. What can students who are of sale right now do about if they want to participate in this challenge? I, I think they shouldn't be worried because we are going to have time for them. We have catered for them because our semester planner, we really know that some students are of sale. So when they come, they will write. But if they want to write now, it is fine. Okay. To the winners out there, what should they expect? They should expect a lot, really. They should have great expectations. We have a lot in stock. We have a Napoli, we have a dinner, we have everything that is supposed to be had for your winner. Okay. Thank you so much for that information. Thank you so much. And I encourage all of you to participate. You should also write. Okay. That's all we had for you. You can still follow this and more on our online platform that is UCU Focus. I've been Rachel Hadondi. Stay tuned. <laughs>